Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the AJW number U1304 recessed liquid soap dispenser. Very nice unit. It's substantial in weight. This unit in its box weighs basically three and three quarter pound. Very nice quality item uh, you get the impression of. With this unit, you're going to get a key for the cylinder and mounting screws. So here's the key. You can buy these separately. Uh, you only get one. Um, and people do end up buying them because they find that keys get lost, um, etc. Misplaced. Uh, if you're a large facility, people generally buy those in multiples of 5, 10, 20. Uh, custodial staff turns over, the keys don't get returned, and they get lost, etc. Uh, key bringing it to the vertical position allows you to remove the door and this is a very handy sort of design because it features a uh, translucent you know box you know attached to the back of the unit with a fill area cut out in the top soap valve down here which is replaceable okay you can buy replacement soap valves and that is not uncommon either uh, uh, to buy those. I have found the greatest success with units like this is that every soap refill you do, you actually flush it out with warm water and that will keep the soap valve, you know, alive and well. If that goes, you know, several, several different refills without a cleaning of it, eventually that, that valve in there is going to gum up, uh, is the bottom line. Fabricated of 18 gauge stainless steel with a number four satin finish. Uh, so what you're seeing here, this white, cloudy or dirty surface, is just a peel-away protective film. If I pulled a bit of that away, it would reveal a real nice brushed stainless finish, and it is indeed stainless steel. We've got a cam lock here. Okay. The key can be removed only in the locked position, which is really handy. But it operates that way. You're going to get a galvanized steel box. It's like spangled, like you have an old style trash can. Okay. So that gets attached to the wall. You're going to get four screws. They look to be about a number 10 by inch, inch and a quarter pan head screw. You're going to have two areas in the back here, and then two areas on each side for attaching unit. There is also a refill indicator slit that's caught in the front. That's very handy to have there as well. Um, chrome plated brass is the soap valve construction and that's very typical. 56 fluid ounces and that puts it in a you know, mo you know higher than standard sort of capacity. So this would be something that you're going to be expecting a, a, a not insignificant amount of, of volume through there. There is a link below this video to the tech sheet which shows everything important dimensionally about the item and let's go over that now. You can see that the overall width of the unit is 10 inch. Yep, overall height is 6. You're going to have an overall projection okay, with your steel box at 4 and or 3 and 3 quarter overall projection. Let's test that. I'm sorry, an overall depth. Lock that back in place so that it doesn't fall on me. Three and three quarters should be this dimension. Okay, indeed it is basically. Four and a quarter overall. Pretty close, within an eighth of an inch of that. Okay. Uh, specifications on that tech sheet. Fabricated of 18 gauge stainless steel with a uh, number four satin finish. Half inch returns on the face. Wall housing is fabricated, fabricated of 22 gauge uh, steel. It's galvanized. Tank molded translucent Lexon tank, shatterproof and corrosion resistant. Large opening in the top, uh, as we showed earlier, for easy servicing. Covered sides, sides prevent spillage, so there's only a cutout in the top of that uh, at all. 
Uh, the valve is the U001, and that's important to know. Uh, the cell valve that you can, you know, should you need to replace it, you can down the road. It's held on with a hex nut in the back. Pin tumbler lock, you can buy that as well. And then, of course, new keys. Reach out to us if you have a need for replacement parts. We will absolutely help get you that material. Uh, you know, it's nice that AJW makes that material available so that you can continue to get useful service out of, you know, commercial bathroom hardware. I mean, let's face it, a recessed unit like this, you're going to create an opening in the wall uh, that kind of, you know, ties you into this unit itself. And being able to replace the, you know, parts that may get damaged on it are, are crucial. Installation, uh, coordinate so that you've got an accurate rough opening requirement. And that wall opening requirement is also listed below the specifications at 9.5 by 5 and a 16th by 4. Okay. So you've got your proper rough opening. You know that you're clear to make that rough opening in the wall. You want to, if it's new construction, obviously reinforce properly so that you can run your screws. You want to create a box so that this will fit in. Okay. Uh, All-purpose low viscos viscosity lotions and liquid synthetic detergents or oils, vegetable-based soaps should be used. Preventative maintenance. This is important and quite, quite honestly not enough people, no, hardly enough people do it. Each dispenser should be cleaned every 30 days with warm water uh, to prevent sludge buildup from clogging the valve. Um, do not use abrasive cleaners when cleaning the equipment, that's for sure. Um, if you think that you're going to have 56 fluid ounces that, you know, you won't have to change over, you know, a significant period of time, you probably go with a smaller unit. You don't want the, the soap to basically stagnate in there and start to coagulate um, the soap valve. Uh, there is also, uh, in tying into that, a link below this video to the product brochure, which shows everything related this product and all of AJW's sister products to it, which is going to allow you, and this unit is on the last page, uh, which I believe is page three uh, of the unit, so you can review this along with its sister products to make sure that this is the best solution for your application. Uh, so that's a very handy, um, you know, guide. Uh, Importantly, it calls out the reference to the smaller unit, the 34 fluid ounce, which is the U1314. Same sort of model, not pictured, just a smaller unit, U1314. Any questions on the AJW U1304 recessed liquid soap dispenser or any other AJW product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.